What's this? Another Adventure Time video so soon after the first one I made? You better believe it! This time, instead of one episode, we're gonna be looking at, and ranking, four! Those four being the episodes starring Fiona and Cake, that's right, Adventure Time starring Fiona and Cake, Bad Little Boy, The Prince Who Wanted Everything, and Five Short Tables. Not Fiona and Cake and Fiona though, because they're really just there for show in that episode, but if I were to rank it, it'd be the worst one by far. I'll be giving brief summaries of the plots as well as my thoughts on Fiona and Cake as a whole, and I don't usually do this, but let me know how you would rank these episodes and whether or not you agree with my list down below. And with that all said, I think it's high time we start ranking these, starting off with the worst one, The Prince Who Wanted Everything. Lumpy Space Prince is thrown out by his mom and dad for not wanting to be a monster. Now exiled, he finds himself in the land of Ah, where he finds Fiona and Cake, who show him the simpler side to life. His parents find him and begin attacking the three, but with unintentional help from Fiona, LSP is able to defeat his parents by his power of not caring. The main reason this is at the bottom of my list is because it's just not fun to watch, and out of all the characters I would have liked to see a gender swap version of, LSP is definitely not one of them. It also doesn't help that we've seen this before, LSP being at odds with her parents is nothing new, and I didn't care much for it then, so making a Fiona and Cake episode about it won't make me care for it now. Fiona and Cake also aren't in it that much, they show up about halfway through and then they just kind of exist for the rest of the episode. Without a doubt, The Prince Who Wanted Everything is right at home in the fourth spot as the worst episode. Taking the bronze medal next, we have five short tables. This is of course a part of the thematical shorts that would show up from time to time, so having this one be an awe is kind of cool. Fiona and Cake are trying to perfect making flapjacks, Gumball is trying to beat Butterscotch Butler in a board game, Flame Prince is trying to check out a book, Marshall Lee wants LSP to take some medicine, and Ice Queen is telling her own fanfiction to her penguins. I find this episode only slightly better than the last one, they're pretty interchangeable for that reason, but I put this one slightly higher because Flame Prince is played by Hannibal Burris, who gives a great performance. His lines and delivery make it seem like he just wandered into the recording booth and just started saying random stuff while the mic was on, so they decided to just put it in. Hey, Eric, look at me. Bitch. Other than that, it's pretty standard. It didn't even need to be a Fiona and Cake episode, really. Much like the last one, there's nothing in these two episodes that couldn't have been done as a Finn and Jake episode, and I think they fail because of that. The theme is stupid too, and that's the whole point of these episodes. Fiona ate at the breakfast table. Gumball looked at the periodic table. Flame Prince burned the table of contents. Marshall Lee had a tablespoon of medicine, and Ice Queen didn't do anything table related, it was played off as a joke. D simply put, amazing riveting stuff. Definitely better than the last one, but not by much. Alright, finally, we're getting to the good episodes here. Coming in at number two, we have the first Fiona and Cake episode, Adventure Time with Fiona and Cake. Fiona and Cake, I said Fiona and Cake so many times there, are helping Gumball with the biannual Gumball Ball when Ice Queen attacks. They fend her off and Gumball asks Fiona to spend the day with him. They race in the meadows, fly in the sky on Lord Monochromacorn, where Gumball asks Fiona to come to the ball with him as his girlfriend. At the ball, Fiona discovers that it was actually Ice Queen pretending to be Gumball, with the real Gumball being held captive in his room. Fiona defeats Ice Queen, then after it's discovered that it was just fan fiction written by the Ice King. I love this episode. Decent action, a great twist with Ice King pretending to be Gumball, although a problem I have is that the switch happens before the hangout, so the cute flirting and song they share is pretty downplayed because it just wasn't Gumball, it was Ice Queen. It is still fun to watch those segments, but the fact it's just Ice Queen does sour it for me. I also like that the characters are different from their counterparts. For instance, Gumball comes off as more formal than Bubblegum, Ice Queen is more malicious. It's cool that they have those different because they could have just made them gender swap versions and left it at that, but the added differences really go a long way, and you can really see the differences in this episode in particular. Adventure Time with Fiona and Cake is miles better than the last two episodes, and if you think it's the best, I understand, but in my opinion, there's no topping number one. Bad Little Boy let me put it into perspective here, out of the 274 episodes of the show, you could rank this episode somewhere in the top 25 I want to say, and very little people would disagree with you. It's it, 
It, it, it's really good. Fiona, Cake, and Gumball find Marshall Lee on the roof of the treehouse where Marshall takes Fiona and Cake to a party. They play a song, but things turn sour when Fiona and Marshall start roughhousing. Marshall takes Cake as Fiona tries to leave and drops some sick beats while Fiona tries to save her. Marshall gets stabbed by a spear, but is only faking his injury, which Fiona responds to by punching him in the face. So one of the reasons I hold this episode in such high esteem is because Marshall is played by Donald Glover, who kills it in this role. He makes everyone else look fresh out of high school with one year of theater under their belts. I haven't mentioned it until now, but most of the Fiona and Cake episodes have a song. Bad Little Boy has two. A duet between Fiona and Marshall, and a rap at the end, which I wouldn't be surprised if it was written by Donald himself, because it is amazing. Great flow, awesome lyrics, it's almost like he's a rapper or something. Going back to what I said about the characters being different, Marshall is probably the best out of all of them. He's more flirtatious with Fiona than Marceline is with Finn, but he's way more of a jerk as well, and even with the episodes being around 12 minutes, they're still able to show a lot of chemistry between him and Fiona. This is 100% an episode that could not have been done with Finn and Jake, which is another reason this and the last episode I talked about for that matter is so good. There's an actual purpose to it being a Fiona and Cake episode. This episode is what makes Fiona and Cake so interesting. Little stories that leave you happy with what you saw but wanting to see more. It is a shame that the more we got sucked really hard, but on the bright side, we will always have Bad Little Boy, which is hands down the best Fiona and Cake episode. Before I go, am I the only one who wanted an entire season dedicated to Fiona and Cake? Maybe a spin-off series? Or perhaps a crossover where it's discovered that Awe is just an alternate dimension that they can visit with the help of a machine? That would have been awesome. Also, this part goes without saying, but Fiona is best girl, no doubt about it. No, no room for argument. I had a massive crush on her when I was younger. I'm mad enough to admit that. Alright, that's all I wanted to say. So with that all said, I'm Easily Easy, and I'll see you next time.